All right, so I want to show you this case study compressor. It's right here, right over there. Um, it's been awesome so far. I'm not going to lie though, it, my drives are having a hard time with it. So it could be the way I'm running it. I've messed with it quite a bit. It could be easier if I was like, maybe not so used to this, the same thing, which has been like, I've been running a Jackson Audio Bloom. I've been running in that position, but I wanted to give this a go. Let's, let's hear it. All right. This is by no means sponsored or bought and paid for or anything by case study. So here it is, here it is dry. So I want to show you this. Whenever I run it clean, it sounds awesome. Now over here, you got three knobs on the top. Left to right, it goes ratio, threshold, gain. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about those three knobs right now. So if I increase the ratio, I increase it to about the one or two o'clock. Check it out. It's not letting enough sound in. That's what the ratio on compressors does, is for every decibel you're allowing X amount of other decibels in. So I bring that back down. But I like to have a little bit of something there. So anyways, threshold, that's just where you're capping your volume, set around one o'clock right now. If I'm gonna bring it down to like the nine. Doesn't affect the tone, doesn't affect any science behind it. It just lowers the amount of, basically the threshold, the amount of level that's allowed through. And then the last thing it hits is the gain. So the final volume, it's, it's really like a studio compressor. If I lower that, it takes what you dialed in from the ratio and the threshold and just acts as a master volume. Now the bottom two knobs, left to right, is attack and release, and the middle switch is a bright switch. The attack and release, uh, if I go lower on the attack, you'll notice that it really has a pop to it. If I have a slower attack to it, check it out. If I have a quick release, it gets really funky. You can really get funky with that. It almost has like a pop feel to it, which actually is cool. Where I've kind of rested with it is right around there right now. And here's why it really messes my overdrives if I don't. So I lowered the attack to about nine o'clock. It was at like the one. Hard to tell anything with chords, but if I play it. get that pop kind of back, which is cool. This is another first stage overdrive that I have, but if I really start messing with the gain, the threshold and the ratio, it does really things that I don't personally like. It, like my overdrives just don't like it. So I'm just gonna start with the first knob, which is the ratio. If I went uh, to the ratio and put it around noon, I'm gonna move this to where it actually gets in the angle. There we go. So if I move that ratio knob, which is, right there on the left i have it about noon that's with a first stage overdrive it really deadens my sound if i go if i go up even more to like the three o'clock check this nothing so i like to test pedals in series so like from left to right or right to left and usually one thing or one pot usually will lead into the other not always but in some cases so here, here's an example. So I'm gonna put this in the shot. The Jackson Auto Bloom. I read it like the top row. Um, 
the comp is amount of compression. The blend is the dry signal and the final is the volume. So I read it like right to left. So right now I have the ratio where I like it. And I feel like I got my sound kind of back. Another first stage. Let me go back to like a first stage daily driver. Sounds really good. I did another one the other day, like another one, the song. But I ended up not liking this thing because of a few reasons. I started messing with the knobs and I had the ratio at noon and this is what happened. Just bad things. It, it doesn't. It didn't sound good. So I brought it back down. I could even bring the gain up and let it hit the overdrives harder. But where I found that I liked it, it was right around noon. So this is completely clean. Now here's the daily driver again. My blues breaker circuit. And my ODR one. I think it actually sounds better for me, my ears I'm, right now, I think it sounds better than the bloom. I've been messing around with a slower attack too. So I'm using the attack now closer to the three o'clock. And this is what happened. A quite subtle compression. This is by no means sponsored or bought and paid for or anything by case study. He was kind enough to send it to me, but with an unbiased review and thoughts, and I'm still dialing it in. That's the whole point of this whole thing. So uh, it's hard to get a pedal and not just keep dialing it in. It's really rare for me to find a pedal and I'm good as soon as it comes out of the box. It's really, really clean and has a lot of high transients, which I like. And that's without the bright switch on. I liked what it did. Kind of got that pop feel from the guitar straight into my effects. Thank you, K-Study, for letting me try that out.